happy to have you all here. I see some old faces, a lot of new faces. I'm really excited to have you all joining me for this restorative yoga class. Um, can everyone hear me okay? Just want to do a quick test. Yes. Awesome. Perfect. All right, so uh, today all you need are two pillows, one to two pillows, uh, and then a blanket. We are also going to be doing some stuff with our legs up on the wall. Uh, if, however, you do not have any wall space, um, you can either just unmute yourself real quick and just let me know. Um, and then that way I can give you some alternatives you can do on the floor rather than up the wall. I um, just want to make sure we're not kicking over any pictures or bumping into anything. And if you haven't done uh, restorative yoga before, today is going to be very relaxing, very laid back. We're going to do a lot of stuff low to the ground. Um, and I've been noticing in my other classes uh, that Myself and my students have a lot of tightness in the shoulders and the hips this time of year. So we're going to be focusing on releasing a lot of those areas. Um, and if you're dealing with any tightness in either shoulders or hips and the positioning or the shape that I put you in doesn't feel good, uh, feel free to unmute yourself at any point and uh, just let me know and then I'll find a modification as well so that you're still getting the same benefit but just without all the, yeah, all the ickiness. All right. Um, and finally, um, if you are working with any injuries uh, today, uh, feel free to pop that into the chat. You can message me directly if you would like. Um, all, again, a lot of these moves are going to be very relaxing, very restorative. Um, but if there is anything that I see in my sequence that I think might aggravate that area, and I'll just give some alternative options for y'all. All right, so without further ado, let's begin. We are beginning on our backs with our legs up the wall. Have a folded up blanket underneath your spine so that you have some padding from your hips to your shoulders. If your neck is feeling really tight today, have a pillow or two underneath your head. Now, how I like to get into the shape, I'll adjust so you can see me a little better. I like to lay down on my side first, and then I'll kind of scooch my butt as close as I can to the wall. Then from there, swing the legs up and readjusting as needed. Allow your feet to flop open to the sides, arm resting down by your hips. Another option is to place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Once you're in this shape, close your eyes. And start to connect to your breathing. Take two to three normal breaths in and out through your nose. Just gauging how your breath, how your body, how your mind feels right at the beginning of class. Noticing these things without assigning any judgment. They're neither good or bad, right or wrong. We just are. Now start to connect to a deeper and more expansive breath. Inhaling through the nose, filling your lungs all the way up. As you exhale, open your mouth and empty out completely. Inhale through just your nose. Fill up through your chest, your ribs, down into your belly even. Exhale everything out of your mouth. Another big inhale. 
through the nose. Exhale, let out an audible sound, a sigh, anything that wants to come out. Two more breaths, just like that. Inhale through the nose. Exhale to sigh it out. time you exhale, choose to let something go, whether it's a tight holding pattern in your body, or a nagging thought to your head. Whatever it is, choose to let it go. Now we'll be moving into our first breath work exercise. This one's called sipping breath. If you can naturally do it, curl your tongue into a U. If not, no worries, just purse your lips together like you're sipping through a straw. And inhale everything in through your mouth. Pause at the top for a moment. Close your lips, exhale through your nose. Inhale through your pursed lips. Drink in the cool air. Exhale the hot air through your nose. Four more breaths. Sipping in through the mouth. And exhaling through the nose. Do this at your own pace and feel your mind and your body settling in. Becoming more present. One more round. And if you like that breathing exercise, you can keep it up through the rest of class. If however you're ready for a change, just gently close your lips together and breathe deeply through your nose. If you have a pillow underneath your head, Push it away, and then land your head softly on the ground. Press your arms down by your side. Slide your feet down on the wall until your knees are bent. Then start to shimmy away from the wall. Pushing in with your feet and then just kind of gliding or just getting your body a little bit further away. Excuse me. From here, plant your feet on the wall. Knees will be bent at a 90 degree angle and arms relaxing down by your side. Inhale into your belly. Exhale, push your low back firmly into the floor and pull your low belly down in towards the spine. Inhale. Loon your belly into space, feel your low back lifting slightly off the floor. Exhale, push low back into the floor. Keep your pelvis grounded and low belly pulling down. Inhale into your belly, feel your pelvis rocking forward slightly. 
Exhale, curl tailbone towards your heels, full belly button down. Inhale. Fill up your front ribs and into your heart space. Exhale. Curl tailbone up, pull your low belly down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, knit your low ribs down towards the hip bones. One more. Inhale. Exhale, pull low belly down. And we'll rock your pelvis back through the center. Draw your knees in towards your chest and roll over to one side. And gently bring yourself up to a comfortable seat. And if you have your blanket handy, fold it up an extra time so it's a little bit of a thicker cushion. Then sit on top of your blanket and lean up against the wall or a piece of furniture. Just something that you can rest your back against. If however you'd like to stay center in the room, that's another option as well. Cross your ankles. And rest your hands comfortably down on top of your knees. Rip your right ear up and over your right shoulder until you feel a gentle stretch in the left side of your neck. Option one, you can either stay here or for more intensity, reach your left hand out to the side, hovering it about a foot above the floor and actively reaching your upper arm bone away from your shoulder. Relax your jaw and allow your bottom jaw bone to slide towards your shoulder almost like you're creating a drooly mouth facial expression. Allow every muscle in your face, in your neck to melt. Two more big breaths here. If your left hand is extended up to the side, lower it back down to your knee. Use your right palm to help pick your head up through the center. And then that way we don't undo all that nice stretching we just did. Moving on over to the other side, dip your left ear up and over your shoulder until you feel a stretch. Option to stay here or reach your right fingertips out to the side. the tongue away from the roof of your mouth. See if that allows you to intake more breath on your next inhale. Use each exhale as an opportunity to heal away any tension top of the shoulder or your neck. Your right hand is extended up to the side, lower it down onto your knee. Left palm cradles your head back up to center. Bring your legs into a straddle, so the legs out straight. It doesn't have to be your widest straddle. Move a little bit away from the wall and grab one or two of your pillows. 
Start with your pillows stacked on top of one another. And get them as close as you can to your pelvis and your belly. And start to walk your hands and your elbows forward, holding at the hips. You want to go until you feel a sweet discomfort in the back of your legs. No pain, no strain. There's that sweet stretching sensation that you feel when you take your first stretch in the morning, when you first wake up. Your belly. Exhale, relax your outer hips and your knee joints. Inhale down into your belly and fill up through your ribcage. Exhale, relax the muscles along your spine. Inhale, filling up from the belly all the way to the top of your chest. Exhale, soften your shoulders, soften the back of your neck. If you can allow the joints, even the small joints in your body, to relax. Walk your hands back towards your hips. Lifting your chest up off your pillows, move them out of the way. <laughs> Easy. Then you use your hands to bring your legs in. Grab a sip of water or tea or whatever you're sipping on. Even though we're not technically sweating, um, we're still really wringing out the connective tissues and the muscles, so it can be a little dehydrating. We've gotten all of our wiggles out. We're going into our meditation and restorative pose section. For your first pose, hold up your blanket enough so that you have um, padding once again from for your shoulders and your hips. And then bring one pillow to one end of your blanket and then have a second pillow nearby. Easy. Let's start laying down on our left side. So the left side seam of your body is on the blanket, head on your pillow. My left leg is staying straight, and then my top leg, my right leg, will bend and rest on top of my second pillow. <laughs> If you have access to even more pillows, you can always stack them, raising the leg higher and higher. Option one for the right arm, rest your hand in front of your chest. Option two, if you'd like to open up through your shoulder, reach your right arm up overhead, resting your upper arm on your cheek. a little too much halfway through our pose. Close your eyes. 
reconnect to your deep breathing. Through the darkness of your eyelids, picture the front door of your home. door in front of you, and behind you, everything is in its place, all the items, all the furniture, exactly as you left it. You reach down for the door handle, you turn it and open the door. On the other side of the threshold, rather than your normal neighborhood. You see a path made of stone carving its way through a grassy field. You begin to walk along the path. You close your front door behind you. walk along this path, you can feel the cold stones beneath your feet. Maybe you can even smell the hints of flesh grass if you look at the green fields that surround you. Finding your way down the path, come to the edge of a forest. You begin to walk through the trees, feeling their cool shade against your skin. trees, you see a stone building taking place. The closer you get to the building, you see that ivy hangs all along the walls. You walk along the edge of the building, stretching your hand or your fingers against the stone walls. Maybe even grabbing at the ivy. You turn a corner and find an old door. wood of the door has seen many years. The brass doorknob is slightly rusted. It's still holding strong. Closed. As you roll onto your back and onto your right side, taking your pillow with you, setting up on the other side. This time, your left leg will be on your pillow. Right leg long.
settling your eyes on the divots and the details of the wood grain. You reach down for that brassy doorknob. The door creaks as you enter in. And on the other side of the ivy wall and the wood door, it's a beautiful garden. Flowers of all colors, shapes. Every shade of green. You can hear the hum of life as insects travel from plant to plant. Begin to walk through the secret garden. Maybe bending down to smell a flower or two, or just to hold the petals in your hand. You see a small bench. Placed in front of a water fountain. You sit down on the bench. Just like the old door, it too creaks. Creeks almost in joy as if an old friend has returned. You watch the water feature bubbling and splurting. mesmerized by the movement of the water. Very slowly start to roll onto your back. Keep your pillow, first pillow underneath your head and your second pillow or bolster can either go underneath your knees as your legs dra drape over it. Or if you'd like to open up in your hips a little more, bring the bottoms of your feet together. The knees will go wide. You're making a diamond shape with your legs. Options for the arms, either resting your hands down by your hips or 
bringing the elbows in line with your shoulders, arms in a goal post or cactus position. Will be our final pose for today. Be here for a little bit longer. We get really comfy. Allow yourself to settle in. water fountain hat. It's only broken when you hear a loud buzzing sound next to your ear. You see a giant bumblebee lazily flying from flower to flower. legs are furry and heavy with all the pollen it's collected. You can see the fine details of the black and yellow hairs along its body. These are a sign of hard work and dedication. Whenever you see them, it's a reminder to balance your work life and well-being. Celebrate being a part of a community. You always remember to enjoy the honey of life simple, sweet moments that are the rewards of your effort. starts to fumble its way across the garden, heading back to its hive. If you stare off after it, you feel something gently land on your forearm. So the legs walking around on on your arm and hand. If you look down, you see a bright red ladybug. The six black spots on its back. Ladybugs are a symbol of good luck, of fortune and prosperity. This insect leads a vibrant and colorful life and influences you to experience the joys of living to the fullest. To have a childlike wonder Believe in magic, if only for a second. It reminds you to have an inquisitive nature. Never be satisfied with the mundaneness of life. 
and they're always searching for something extraordinary, even in the most ordinary of things. Bug unfurls its wings. Quick as a flash, it lifts off your arm. It begins to fly away back to its own home. You then stand up from your bench wood creaking beneath you for the final time until your next visit. You turn and begin to walk your way through the secret garden. Passing by the flowers, buzzing beehives, bidding farewell to this space, but knowing in your heart you can return at any moment that you would like. We will always be here for you. Once you reach the door, you open and walk through the threshold. back down the stone path that you came in on. Walking amongst the trees. Tops of which are swaying in the breeze. Leaving the forest, you walk the path through the meadows, the once bright blue sky, is now a vibrant mix of orange and purples as the sun sets below the horizon. Stones feel even cooler beneath your feet now that the heat of the day has left them. You feel relieved to see your front door standing in front of you. You enter in, you see everything in your house. The items, the pictures, the furniture are exactly as you left it welcoming you home from your journey.
stay in this restful shape as long as you would like. If, however, you're ready to move on with the rest of your evening, start to invite the awareness back to your mat. Deep in the breath. Bring gentle movements to the hands, your fingers, your toes, your head. And moving that stretch to the arms and the legs, let them stretch out to anywhere that would feel good. And from here, draw knees in towards your chest. To one side and very carefully bring yourself up to a seat. From here, join me, drawing hands from the heart center. We'll feel out this practice together. And on their practice, they say Namaste, which means the light and love within me honors and respects the light and love within each of you. Namaste. Thank you.